Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be lowering um, a white scat pack. This guy named is Joe, he's on his way here now. As you can see, I got my car in the garage still, but we will be lowering his car today in the garage. You know this is garage driven, so it's gotta be done in the garage, right? Anyway, but besides that, today I'll be going to a dyno day, and I'll show you guys all the, you know, the footage from there. We'll kind of just vlog through the day as I go through the day, and I'll show you exactly like you know what's going on. But um, yeah, it should be a good turnout today. But I'll show you guys his car in a minute, the way it looks stock, and then after it pulls out, lowered down. But I got you guys on a video coming up. My very next video, probably after this one here, will be a video of me lowering the charger so you guys can see how to do it at home in your own garage. If you got the tools, you got the jack, you should be able to get this done yourself. Wife in the back, Callie. Hi. And that's Dwight, Dwight's wife, Heather. She's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yo, we just having a party in the car. Might as well. Why not? We this guy, my dude, son. This is my brother right here. Very that's love. Right. That's right. Respect. So, right now, we were supposed to go to Dino Day. Not happening. But we Life will be going to Portello's. Anybody know about Portello's? Leave a comment in the bottom. Right below, leave that comment about Portello's if you ever ate there. So, I don't know. We're gonna ride, we're gonna listen to some music, we're gonna hang out. Alright guys, so I made it back home. Um, I figured out the issue with my car. Pretty much what happened was I had a low temperature thermostat, 180 degree. And um, I'm guessing it seized up or failed or whatever the case is, it got stuck. So it caused the car to overheat. Then it gave me a sign of like bad gas, the way the car was starting, it was kind of funny. But anyway, I went, I, went, I went ahead and put back my old thermostat, which was from the factory that Dodge, you know, the car came with. And hey, the car's working fine now. So um, overall, I ended up missing the whole day, the entire show that we were supposed to go to, the dyno event. I pretty much missed that entire event. So all we did pretty much was, you know, went to Tampa still, just got something to eat and came back home. But anyway, I'm just happy I got the car squared away and, you know, it's, it's pretty much back to normal. I'm, I'm just happy. That makes me happy. So... But um, I'll show you guys exactly what I had to end up changing out so you guys know. Pretty much, I don't recommend doing that thermostat. That's just something I don't recommend. So I just want to show you guys real quick exactly what I had to uh, change. So the thermostat actually sits in here. I just had to pretty much loosen the two uh, 13 millimeters and uh, change the thermostat back to the stock one. And then, obviously, I lost pretty much all my coolant. So I did fill that back up, which... It's pretty much full enough right now. So overall, I'm happy the car's back to normal. And I'm able to drive, enjoy my car again. And you know, let's be happy. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video right here. But you know, thanks for subscribing, like, comment, and I'll get back to it with you guys in the next one. Peace. 